In case you're new here, my name is Joan Jojo Verimo, and I'm actually from doing a workout, you guys. Hey, so yeah, I was actually working out. Uh, the weight loss journey, of course, is continuing because this year I decided I want to cut or lose some weight. So yeah, but anyway, that's not today's video. Today, I want to do something different. Actually, I was not to pick a camera today but i just felt the need of you know just informing you about you know the nitty gritties of uh form one you know my daughter will be going to form one and um, already yeah she has been called to a certain school but i don't think i'm going to share the name of the school here for security purposes but yeah uh of course they had requirements and i needed you guys to know the nitty gritties the pros and the cons the do's and the don'ts because there's a lot that i learned and i need you guys to get informed because one way or another you may be having uh a child who will go to form one next year and yeah we need information every day is a day of learning so yeah i think what i'm going to do i'm going to do a sit down video so that i can be able to explain and of course show you what uh, uh she's carried on her luggage bag and yeah so without further ado let's begin we are now here this girl oh my goodness me <laughs> she's finally here i want to introduce you guys for those who do not know her she's my teenage daughter and i'm so proud of her by the way she's going to form one and how are you feeling baby how are you feeling about it <laughs> yes you tell my people how are you feeling i'm feeling good you're not nervous even a bit Oh, really. <laughs> not really you're looking forward yeah me i've never seen someone who is looking forward to going to form one namwita tan mono yeah she's she's just like i don't care i know i'm a mono <laughs> i know i'm a mono but i'm still looking forward to going to high school so i think for her is to experience another uh, whole new life altogether without me being there so I think that is what is making her so excited. <laughs> Look at her, she's just blushing here. But it's true. I know you're excited. You've been excited all this time. So anyway, without further ado, I just want us to show you what we are carrying on her luggage. By the way, like I said, there are pros and cons. So uh, the first thing that I want to say is... So like I was saying, when, uh, the first thing that I want you guys to know is uh start buying stuff early you know things like uh personal effects things like tissues uh sanitary wear things like soap kiwi you know you can actually buy that in, in the year through when she's in class eight or whoever you will be in class eight your son your daughter yeah you just start it off by buying such stuff slowly by slowly and then yeah it will easen your burden so uh we first started shopping for these things a while back so that i don't get overwhelmed especially for me who is a single parent yeah i don't like getting overwhelmed with such things because i knew uh going to form one you need like 80k and above you know depending on the school that someone has been called and the kind of requirements that they need so yeah a friend of mine 
actually advised me to start doing that and it really really helped me a lot because by the time now we were getting the requirements because by the way you guys you can't buy everything because every school has their own kind of requirements things like bed sheets things like um uniform of course you didn't know the school uh, he or she is going to so such things you just wait to see the school that they will be called or the one that you choose to go to and then they'll give you a list of things in terms of like color what to buy uh, what not to buy and uh, for instance the school she was called they are not asking for a metallic box you know those uh, boxes are metal yeah they are not being asked that i think they are facing out uh, those boxes so they've been asked to carry um a suitcase by the way a medium or big enough kind of a suitcase that can fit in her stuff and i found that very interesting because we we had this funny weird boxes at an iliacha shule you know by the time four years zinaisha me i left it in school i just carried what i needed waited for my parents to pick me up and that's how i just got rid of that box but now uh for her having a suitcase is something very amazing and of course now they have other requirements which i want you guys to see so let's begin so we have this uh suitcase you guys it's black i love it you can actually lock it somewhere here i've placed this suitcase on a table because it will make work very very easy we got was this um jacket the school that they are going are requesting more of navy blue so i have this uh warm do we call it jacket or jumper you know because yeah of the cold weather they asked that we get uh this and another one right here so i thought of getting two of them and the school is going to provide one for them so that's the first item and then now definitely um she has carried with her some towels right here so yeah this is what she's going to be carrying we want to actually label these towels right here so we got some i don't know whether you can see clearly one one white towel and some for you know face towels to use and of course yeah i have another one right here by the because i was wondering hey, you give me copy. so two white towels and of course uh three i just thought of buying an extra uh face towel for her so yeah that's what she has and these ones i got them in kikomba by the way they didn't specify on the color of the towel they just said get towels so that is what i got and then now we have this personal effect so this is a body lotion um uh the, it is optional to carry uh the type that you normally use so they didn't specify they just said optional so i thought of getting her amara right here and then now i got her a soap dish uh, there are some things that i got from kamkunji and you guys this is very important so yeah a soap dish and then they asked for a ck cup they were so specific with this so they said a ck cup then now um she has with her some uh, night wear this is a night dress right there and of course she's carried a t-shirt in case it gets cold yes. and oh no these are goma rubber shoes they asked for this so yeah, I got this and these ones were going for 350 in Kamkunji. Then of course we have um, soap, soap of your choice, this kind of soap that you want to carry. So we bought uh, sour, yeah, this is what we like and these uh, are different uh, flavors right here. So this one is chocolate, chocolate, we have Carbon right here and there are many by the way. I don't know the rest are. But yeah, there's still another one right here. So then of course we have kiwi. These are the things that I was talking about that you can 
buy this early enough so that yeah we don't get overwhelmed so we got two of this and then now we got a packet of pegs you guys <laughs> yeah pegs are so necessary and then now we have uh things like washing detergent these are things that you can buy early enough so basically this is what i got for her this is a 1 kg one and then now i got um tissues these tissues i got them actually most of these uh personal effects i bought them at a wholesale shop which was very very cheap by the way uh i think this one was going for how much was it going for 100 and i think 30 or 20 for pieces so yeah i found this a great deal then now we have bar soap this is one kg bar soap and then now i have this pouch this pouch we bought it in kikomba by the way it's so cute it's so cute you guys it looks so new if you can look at it but imagine it's thrifted how much was it oh, it was a hundred bob so yeah what have you put in here before oh yeah now here she's put in her toothpaste and toothbrush interesting she's becoming a big girl <laughs> and then over here she has put her padlocks these are just pouches no not padlocks what what is here uh thread we actually got this they are so cheap by the way in kikomba they were going for 10 bob each so yeah thread and of course needles right there then they were asked to carry uh, a brush and a shoe brush definitely then we have of course sun a lot of sanitary wear right here we bought this uh like six packets it was at a wholesale price so yeah there were many of that and then now we have uh roulons right here we have uh roulons right here then we have a scarf navy blue if you remember we needed a scarf had this for her birthday and yeah she decided to keep her padlocks right here they were asked for like uh what were they three padlocks three padlocks but we bought some for also the suitcase so yeah then uh of course pocket tissues she's becoming a girl we have an umbrella for her then we have this oxford set right here yeah they needed an oxford set of course a ruler um this is a pouch that has all her pencils her pens and all that kind of a stuff scissors yeah we've put all those things right here in this pouch this pouch we got it at miniso for only 49 bob you guys yeah passed by miniso then now we have of course uh this is bamsi uh hair food right here to serve her for a long long while then we have the baby love skin and hair care for use of that kind of a nature what am i saying <laughs> yeah this is a petroleum jelly so yeah very important then we have this uh what do we call oh they are so heavy guys we have these rim papers. They were asked for two packets. And these ones are so expensive, you guys. Where one is going for 700 So two of them is 1400 So yeah, these are two rim papers right there. Hold on for me. Ooh, they are heavy. <laughs> then now we have slippers right here. I found these ones in Kikomba. They were going for 100 bob. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these ones were in Kikomba, 100 bob. I love the fact that they are black. Oh, this is so nice, you guys. This is so nice. And then now we have this bag. Thank God she, I bought this bag uh, third term when she was in class 8. So they needed this kind of bags to carry their books. Or, you know, closing day, they won't carry a suitcase back home. So, yeah, and it's black in color and it's still new, you guys. So I'm happy about that. 
and then now what is this my diary oh this is her diary <laughs> she loves journaling you guys hey my daughter <laughs> then now um we have this uh what do you call uh metallic bucket they were asked to carry a metallic bucket and we had it sorry guys i was cut short by you know aki hey the life of content creation is just crazy so like i was saying yeah this bucket right here yeah they were asked to get a metallic one and the only place we could get this was in kikomba yeah i think i got it at 350 shillings and then now uh a bucket so the bucket was the color of your choice so we opted to do white so and of course it's labeled right here so is that all are you sure yeah i think those are the only requirements right now and then the rest of them the school is going to get it for her so that's where now you pay for uniform books mattress uh bed sheets um what else what else do you pay for track suits for games you know the now that comes in and you really pay quite a huge amount of money so the requirements aren't that many but yeah there are some schools that um they'll ask you for things like mattresses and bed sheets and all that but this one in particular you go and just pay for it so yeah i think that comes to the end of uh our video and by the way i didn't even tell you guys this suitcase is quite huge yeah this is how it looks like yeah and uh, this one was going for three thousand five hundred but you must learn to bargain you guys hey you guys this life you have to be wise you have to be wise so yeah uh we bargained but you have to really have the bargaining power so anyway yeah i think that's it for us right now come come say bye to my viewers <laughs> come and wind up this video <laughs> oh yeah i'm so happy for her by the way you guys i'm so so happy that um she's going and yeah i'm wishing her the best oh yeah here she is you guys yeah i'm here to wish her the best uh in this new journey and in this new chapter so yeah let me call it a day yeah she'll be leaving us soon and <laughs> she's saying not soon it's tomorrow by the way she's supposed to go tomorrow so yeah by the time you're watching this video she'll have left so <laughs> i can't believe my baby girl is going oh my god she's been helping me a lot lately and i'm grateful to her that she's been of great help and you know she's my baby but she's still my child but yeah i'm going to release her in this new dispensation of her life so i hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video and if you have what do they do mm -hmm. <laughs> give a thumbs up <laughs> what else um, like mm -hmm. that is to like and subscribe and subscribe so kindly do that for us yeah we are on the road of hitting 2k subscribers please please get me there and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one bye miss me i miss her <laughs>